Hello everybody, it's Mario. Welcome back to my channel. Today we're doing a review of the Aurora Limited Edition doll released by the Disney Store in 2014. So in this review, we're going to go ahead and take a look at the blue Aurora in the box and then we'll take a look at the pink Aurora out of the box just so we can see all the details. They're basically the same doll. The only difference is the color and the face. Basically, the eyes are glan glancing in different directions and the makeup is a little bit different. Other than that, it's the same. Now, this is actually the first doll that I got in the store and didn't pay like, you know, on eBay prices or anything like that. It was the first retail price doll that we got as collectors. So she's pretty special because of that. Um, also, we actually have so many of these dolls at this point because we've bought them on eBay. There's so many of them made that we just buy one every once in a while to debox or use the body or whatever. But anyways, here's the box of the Blue Aurora. And I just want you to see all the details. And again, it's the same thing on both boxes. It's just the colors. It has the older Disney Store logo from back in the day. Here we have her with a pink background, her blue outfit, beautiful. It says Aurora Limited Edition, one of 4,000. She's just stunning. And then this is the pink box, just so you can kind of see that it's pretty much the same thing. Just all the colors have changed, basically. Here, the background is blue. Her outfit is pink. Again, we have Aurora. One of this one is 5,000. So there's more of the pink one than the blue one. The side of the box has the same design going all the way to the bottom, which is gold and blue. And it's just beautiful. The back of the box is Sleeping Beauty. And we have the same design where we see the little crown and the flowers, the branches. It's just really, really stunning. You can go ahead and pause if you'd like to read that. It's in English and in French. It says that it includes the certificate and the stand, and the price is $119.95. And now here's the certificate for Blue Aurora. I wanna show you really quickly what she looks like in the box. And it's just beautiful the way that she's displayed. She takes up the entire box, which is really cool. There you can see. Her outfit is just beautiful and um, you'll see it now out of the box in all details, but it's just really nice to see how she's displayed. So I, I always like to show that. Um, as you can see, the dress is all strapped to the bottom with little tags, so it's not going anywhere. It's all positioned extremely well. You can see the sleeve is um, also tied to the back. And here we have Aurora out of the box and this is the pink one. As you can see, her crown is just beautiful. It has rhinestones on it. And it's actually stuck to her head with uh, the strings. It's like sewn in. And I want to apologize for the quality of this video, guys. I actually filmed this video about a year ago. And not that I'm like an expert now, but I'm better now than then. So it's a little blurry and stuff. So I do apologize. Um, and it took me so long to get it done. But anyways, here's her face. She's beautiful. She has very strong long lashes the rooted lashes with pink eyeshadow because this is the pink doll and she has a little bit of blush now on the blue one which i did want to show you really quickly i know that i said we'll show her and show you her in the box but anyways i wanted to show you the difference it's really the eyes they're glancing in a different direction and the makeup on this one on the blue one it's more purple while the pink one was more pink <laughs> makes sense right she's just stunning now her hair, look at that hairdo. She has the little curl in the front and she has um, actual tensile in her hair, kind of like the original um, Alice doll, the limited edition one. It's the same tensile in the hair. The curls are beautiful. She has very little gel, but somehow the curls just stay together perfectly, which I love. Her necklace is beautiful and it matches the, the crown perfectly, or the tiara, however you want to call it. It has the little flower in the middle and the rhinestones. The bodice on this dress is beautiful. Disney Store just took her look from the movie and the same silhouette and just gave it more of an elaborate look to it. It has this beautiful embroidery flowers, um, this pattern all around the bodice, and it actually goes all the way to the back as well. It's just beautiful, so much embroidery work. And then they kind of took that onto the sleeves as well. So as you see, the sleeve is just beautiful it's so long and dramatic and that's something added that she doesn't have in the movie so they just kind of give her something 
extra, a little oomph, you know, <laughs> if you will. But um, she's just stunning. And there's actually a video of her, um, the making of it by Disney Store, by D23. And I'll include some screen caps of that video here. Also, the flower belt is just stunning. I love it. It's such a nice touch. Now, her skirt is so flowy and beautiful. It's the satin materials and chiffon, and it's just amazing. I love that they added this flower design and this pattern all around on the different layers. And it's all embroidery work and rhinestones. So that is a lot of work. And I know a lot of people think that this outfit is simple for Aurora. I myself wasn't a fan for a while. But now, like, I've just grown to love her because she really is detailed. It has this little tags right there holding everything together, which you can take off if you like. When you put this layer up, you can see that she has another layer right below. And then she has the skirt poofing thing. Now, the only thing I wish was different is that I wish she had heels, but she doesn't. She just has this regular um, flats. They're pink. And of course, in the blue doll, they're blue. Um, it's really not a big deal, though. You don't see it. And here's a couple of screen caps of the video I told you guys about. Uh, D23 released a video showing the process and the making behind the doll. And I'll attach that link below so you can see it. I just wish they made videos like this for all of them. That would be amazing. <laughs> Anyways, guys, thank you so much for checking out my video. I hope that you enjoyed it. And I really recommend you get this doll. You can totally find her on eBay for like almost retail price, 129 or something like that. And that's why we, we have a couple of them because they're beautiful and they're cheap. You can totally get whichever color the blue one does go for a little bit more but it's still pretty affordable and the pink one you'll find pretty cheap anyways guys i love the aurora dolls i think they're beautiful and i hope that somewhere down the line disney store does a briar rose that would be awesome all right that's all for today thank you guys see you on the next one Bye bye